Foggy grounds are still forcing some campers off of the site at EAA, and while some are loving the lack of mud, others are not happy to be so far away from the events. Fox 11's Ryan Dietz joins us now live from EAA with more on this part of the story. Michelle, it is drying out out here, and officials are starting to tell people that they can slowly move on to, back onto the campgrounds, but some people say there are some perks to living in a parking lot. This EAA campground has all the amenities, showers, toilets, satellite TV, and air conditioning. But how about a little grass? I would sooner be here than in the mud, let's put it that way. <laughs> Even the walking around here, I mean, you know, you walk around in sandals over there, you'd probably need boots. These campers have made a home in a former Kmart parking lot a few miles from the EAA grounds. Because of heavy rains last week, some of the EAA campgrounds on site are muddy. In other words, not good for campers. Larry Musak says he's enjoying the asphalt where it's dry. Where we're camped is really, you know, it's just a place to spend the, spend the night really and have a, have a meal. And that. So uh, it's our first time here, and uh, we've both decided uh, it won't be our last. But not everyone likes being so far away. Bill Thrailkill is packing up and leaving six days early. It was part of my bucket list to come out here, but I hadn't anticipated that I would be in the middle of a parking lot. He says the biggest issue is how long it takes to ride the bus back and forth. If I were camped down there, it'd be one thing, but here it takes a couple hours to go down and back, and it's just uh, inconvenient. EAA officials say they are slowly starting to let bigger motorhomes camp on site. As the grounds dry out a little bit here, we can start to look at bringing some of the big rigs in. But the big thing is we want to ensure everybody's safety, the preservation of their equipment and materials, and make sure they can have a good time. With more possible rain coming later this evening, campers might have to wait a little longer before they can get into the campgrounds. And if they're already in, they might have some extra trouble getting out. Live at EAA, Ryan Dietz, Fox 11 News.